Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, hello, my name is Carla and I am so honored that you have clicked on this video and you want to hear about my baptism story. If you haven't already, I would love for you guys to subscribe to my channel. Um, also, you could go ahead and like this video once you're done with it. If you liked it and you want to see more like it, um, that just lets me know that you guys want me to put out more stuff like this. I want to show you guys um, just the footage from that day. It was so special and memorable. Um, and there's a story behind that moment and so that's what I want to share with you guys today um, before we jump in I just want to say it's gonna be vulnerable and I am gonna share um, just like things that I felt nudged me to get baptized and I have learned in this journey uh, just the power of being transparent and being honest and so um, that's what I'm gonna do so easy on the comments if you can pretty much I went through something in my life that had caused a really big impact in the way that I um, had to move forward with my daily living um, it was something that was really hard it's still really hard um, but I'm learning and growing through that and if you're watching this and you're thinking like no like you know I did something that's extremely bad like God is not a scorekeeper he doesn't keep score and say like oh you did this which was really bad so like now your punishment is this there's not one sin that's worse than the other like all sins are equal and your sin is no no worse or better than anybody else's and I think it's just a matter of you knowing that you want to change your life and you want to start fresh um, and being intentional about it it's not like you do this action and then you're like okay like next week I'm gonna go turn up let's like no you have to be genuine about it and um, that's really it, what it was for me um, like I told you guys I'm gonna be transparent so like I'm not gonna tell you guys everything but I will share uh, that I just went through a really rough season in my life I'm still going through that like I mentioned and I'm learning through the process and um, you know every day is different and there's days that are good and there's days that are bad and in that season um, I found a church and in this church um, it has just been groundbreaking being there it's been like so refreshing and I've received so much from them I think the one thing that I've really gained um, respect for and just more knowledge about is the power of prayer and this church is just they state their church of prayer and before like you know we hear that term like oh I'm gonna pray for you or if someone's going through something you're just like yeah girl like I'll pray for you but um, and I'm guilty of doing that too like I would say that and sometimes I wouldn't pray I would just say like hey I'll pray for you but I've learned through this church like the prayer is no joke it really works and when you say you're gonna pray for someone um, like you need to pray because there's power in it and I talked about this too there's power in words and so um, why not activate those words and pray and um, believe that God can do something and so through that I would just reach out to what I call my tribe of women and whenever I was going through something I would reach out to them and they were instant to like send me prayers and like text message form or they would call me um, and they would just be there and their support was just so powerful and life-changing to me I started to at, be asked if I wanted to join some small groups and one of the small groups that I did decide to join was this group called the freedom group and in this freedom uh, group I have the book right here actually and I talked about it a lot in um, my social media um, but this is the book this is what it looks like and it was quite lengthy it was a lot of weeks um, but it just like oh my gosh guys it honestly did some digging um, and you just got to learn about different things in your life that maybe you were struggling with and you didn't know about and that you needed uh, freedom from and you needed to be broken free from like certain type of bondages and things of that nature and so that's what I went through why did this happen and like what caused me to make it happen of course there's like the a b and c of it but there is something that was deeper there's something that was more um that was rooted deeper and that's what i had to deal with and that's what i dealt with and received freedom from i am free from those things and so um now all i can do is embrace my story embrace my past 
um, and move forward with it and just like share it as I feel fit um, you know every day I do get stronger I feel more confident talking about it but I'm not just gonna go from like A to Z and um, as I grow I will share more about it and so that's what I went through and at the end of that book study um, we had a conference and it was called the Freedom Conference and throughout the conference my girls would hype it all up they're like when you go to Freedom Conference it's gonna be amazing like it's gonna change your life like you're gonna see and I was just like okay I thought it was like a normal leadership conference there's gonna be one speaker they're gonna talk and um, you know I was gonna like receive a word and it was gonna be good I was gonna take tons of notes but Oh, when I got there it was everything but that it was just like I got emotional talking about it because it was so so good it was so powerful and if you have the opportunity to join a freedom group and then to do the freedom conference it's done by um, Church of the Highlands and I just recommend that you would do it because it will change your life and you're going to learn things about yourself um, that you didn't even think were an issue I mean this book goes so deep and um, that's what happened to me at the conference I learned about a couple things that I didn't even know that I dealt with or struggled with and in that conference at the end of every session there would be a line of people that uh, would pray for you and even if you didn't need prayer or not you would be asked to go up there and receive prayer um, and there's just like this whole environment like the environment was just the presence of God was there and it was all about just you um, the Holy Spirit and just like you receive receiving freedom so after that um, we were having um, baptism like the day right after the Freedom Conference and I had known this but like I didn't really think anything much of it and I was like okay yeah like you know we're gonna get we're gonna watch people get baptized um, but for whatever reason or the reason was the Holy Spirit at that moment um, at the very end when he had mentioned it one last time I just felt the nudge at that time that they were saying like listen like you need to recommit my your life to me and that's what God was telling me and at that moment I just felt like okay like yes I do because the cool thing about baptism is it's such a symbol essentially you are being buried your old life is being buried and as you're rising a new you is uh, immersing it's a new life that you're starting and so that is what I needed to do at that time in my life I just felt like I needed to bury the things or um, the things that I felt identified me the things that I had been through and I needed to put those things to rest and I needed to be lifted up in freedom I was being renewed and and so um, that day came and I had signed up and everything and I have some footage from that day that I'm gonna share with you in a moment here but pretty much the coolest part of that was just how it all happened and right before I was um, about to get baptized um, my pastor literally said to me Carla I want you to know and I need you to repeat these two words that you have been delivered and redeemed and I heard those words and it was just like chains being broken off of me and it was just so emotional and you guys are gonna see it but um, it was just really powerful and I think I just really needed to hear those two words and there's nothing um, that is too messy for God I think like that's what I really learned like God will use anything any part of your life um, and he'll use it for his glory if you allow him to and if you're honest with what you're going through um, when you're ready um, I think that's a big part of it you don't need to really tell your story when other people want you to but you can tell it when you feel that the time is right so the cool thing about being baptized as an adult is that it's all about the acts of obedience you are making the choice to rededicate yourself to God and when you're a child you do get baptized but I think that's really like your your parents are being encouraged to baptize you they want to dedicate their child to God um, but the cool part about it is like when you decide as an adult like all right I'm gonna do this for me and my own reason and it's an act of obedience and so I want to read Romans 6 4 um, because it talks really or it illustrates really what baptism what baptism is and so 
if you want, you could just follow along here on the bottom of the screen. Um, and again, this is Romans 6, 4. It says, For we have died and we were bur uh, buried with Christ by baptism. And just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glorious power of the Father, now we also live a new life. And so that would just talk about what I mentioned before. We are buried um, and we have died. And then as we're rising up, we are made new and we live new lives. And I think when you come out of the water, it's just intentionally knowing like your life is no longer going to be how it was before, but you are going to, to decide to live a new life. You're going to turn away from things that were sinful, temptation that you had, um, habits that you had, addictions that you had. So the last thing I wanted to share with you guys was a song that really bookmarked um, this moment in my life. And it was a song that once I heard it, I heard it at the Freedom Conference, I instantly was like, what, while I was listening to it, I was just like wrecked because I was like, it was ex explaining exactly what I was feeling. Um, and then it also expressed how I felt when I was baptized. And so um, I'm gonna leave it in the description box and we'll play it in this video as well. Um, but it's called Clean by Natalie Grant. And I just wanna read some of the lyrics to you because like I said, it was just really powerful. And you guys know like when there's a song that speaks to you, you're just like put that on repeat you know what I'm saying <laughs> okay <laughs> all right so again it's Natalie Grant it's called clean and it says I see shattered you see whole I see broken it but you see beautiful and you're helping me to believe you're restoring me piece by piece and there's nothing too dirty that you can't make worthy you wash me in mercy I am clean and then uh, it goes on to like the song continues and at the very end it says wash in the blood of your sacrifice your blood flowed red and made me white my dirty rags are purified I am clean and like I said we're gonna play a song but it is just such a powerful song if you have a chance to listen to it so yeah guys I just wanted to share my baptism story with you and if you're watching this and you're contemplating getting baptized I would encourage you to take this step there's nothing like it you are going to feel so much better you're gonna feel renewed and you're gonna feel a change a shift in your life um, and it's just rededicating your life there's nothing crazy about it it's honestly just water that you're submerging yourself under but I think it's the act of knowing that as you um, come out of the water that you are going to live in a way that you haven't before and you're gonna dedicate your life to Christ and you're going to live in a in a manner in a way that you didn't before so um, yeah get baptized if you have the chance if your church is a church has it then definitely sign up and I hope you enjoyed my baptism story everyone's story is different um, but this was just my story of how I rededicated my life as an adult um, to Christ and here's some clips from my day He said, you are saved by grace through faith, not by works. Look at this, so that no man can boast. Call it off, let it go, all for nothing, I should have known. I've made mistakes, crashed and burned. shattered you see whole I see broken but you see beautiful and you're helping me to believe say deliver the be Nothing too dirty that you can't make worthy. You wash me in mercy. I am clean. Wash in the blood of your sacrifice. Your blood flowed red and made me white. 
My dirty rags are purified. I am clean. Alright guys, and there you have it. That is my baptism day video. I hope you enjoyed it and you just got to see um, me on a more personal level as I am trying to be more transparent with you guys. It's not easy, but I'm doing my best. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Make sure to also give this video a thumbs up. And let me just know your thoughts about this video. What did you think? What is your baptism story? Um, did this video make you think about maybe rededicating your life to Christ? I uh, would love to know what you guys have to say. So just write it in the comments and I'll be replying. And as always, don't forget that every day matters. I tell you guys that all the time. And I'll see you in my next video. God bless you. Bye. What was dead now lives again. My heart's beating, beating inside my chest.